So as promised, let's start configuring our uh, call manager to accept communications. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is hop on over to Cisco Unified Serviceability and go. All right, so I go to uh, Tools, Service Activation. I'm looking for Cisco Axle Web, Util Web Service. I'm going to need Cisco Bulk Provisioning Service and TAP Service for a future video. So while I'm here, and since it takes forever to open this page, I'll go ahead and enable them now and save. And it takes forever for it to actually make these activated as well. All right, now the services are activated. Now I got to pop on back over to uh, the Cisco Unified CM Administration, and I've got to create an Axle user account. Now with this user account, all I want it to do is be able to get in here, use the Axle client to do read-only stuff. So in order to do that, I go to create a group first and associate it with roles that give it that permission. So I'll go to find and I don't have anything created aside from all the built-in ones. I'll go to add new and I'm just going to call this Axel underscore group. So I'm incredibly creative. And uh, we don't have any end users to associate right now so I'll just do save. And I'll go back to user group and there it is. That's what I need to edit. I need to associate it with a role. So don't click this one over here. Click this little eye bubble over here under roles. And we'll assign the role to role group. Find. And I'm going to choose the standard Axel API group. Add select. And that should just give us basically read only access into Axel. And save. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and create an application user. So click uh, User Management Application User. You find, and I got all the built-ins and my two administrative accounts. Now go to Add New. And we're going to call this Axel underscore User. All right, and give it a password. We'll just do password because I'm not going into production with this or anything crazy. Uh, but you may want to make it a little bit more complicated than that. And we're going to add this user to a group while we're here. And we're going to choose add it to that Axel group. Add selected and save. That should work out pretty good. Alright, so now we've got to go and edit dpd.php. Going to edit in a notepad. What I'm going to change this to, just scroll this down, look at my certificate, make this a little bit easier on me, is to uh, the call manager, full, fully qualified domain name, cucm.252.tacticalstech.net, or as it appears, at least in the certificate. I'll change this over to the actual user I created, and of course I'll change the password to whatever it happens to be. And uh, I'll also change the IP address in this uh, variable to the IP address of the web server. To be honest, there's probably a better way to do this in PHP. I'm just too lazy to figure it out at the moment. So, that's actually 246. Then we go to File, Save. Everything worked out correctly. Hopefully this will actually pop up with something. HTTP colon whack whack uh, I'll do localhost since I'm on the server dpd.php uh, question mark desc delta echo sierra charlie equals first line of first little bit of whatever you're searching for press enter and it worked out pretty good for me so uh, so the next part in this is implemented on a couple test phones just make sure that the test direct that the directory actually works on them before you go full production and then the next part is implemented on a whole bunch of phones we'll do that in a later video a little bit later on while we're here taking a look at this I know what you're probably thinking is how do I standardize all the names within my uh, call manager they're probably all over the place random things like echo platoon leader and First sergeant, just just first sergeant. 
and uh, you probably need to go through do a little bit of investigative work and change it in the call manager. I got an easy way to do that utilizing a CSV file and the Axle client to write all that stuff in one fell swoop instead of choosing each individual phone line and uh, phone device and changing it. So stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'll show you how that's done.